Hey, this is going to be a quick video on custom packaging. I'm going to show you the steps I go through to build custom packaging for items that aren't going to easily fit into normal sized boxes. I'll show you how I do that when we come right back. All right, bonus video time. That means you don't have to see my ugly mug. What I have here is a 12 by 12 piece of granite tile. Obviously it's been laser engraved. And what I first want to do is I'm going to cut me a 14 inch square out of this foam right here. And that's going to be the base. So the box is going to be inside dimensions approximately 14 by 14. And then we'll go by thickness uh, when we get through with the padding. You'll see how that works in a few minutes. So the first thing I want to do is set that to the side. And I'm going to take a 14 inch measurement, which is right here. I'll take a couple of those so I can draw my lines. And then I'll just draw me imaginary line to work with, okay? And then I want another 14 inches uh, right there. And again, these don't have to be exactly precise. There's not that big a deal, but you want to try to get it consistent. Uh, it just makes the packaging better. Okay, so now I've got those. So pardon my arms for being in the way. So this is the 14 inch square that I want to cut. So I take a long bladed razor knife and I just follow that pencil line. Okay, you wanna be careful because you know razors are sharp. Just about all the way through. And there it is. Okay. So we'll do the same thing on this side of it. <clears throat> Keep your fingers out of the way. So now we've got a 14 by 14 square. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got a 14 by 14 inch square that the tile will sit centered on. Okay. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to cut me some other pieces that are going to fill in around this. And that's going to sandwich it all in. So let me get set up and then uh, I'll show you how I cut those. I know it's hard for you to see, but off camera, I marked me four, uh, 14 inch pieces, one inch wide, and I'm gonna cut those out uh, same way I did those other ones. So just kind of follow your line. I'm not gonna cut all the way through right now because I wanna score them and then I'll move off camera and I'll finish the cut. So. I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> I didn't give you the straight poop. I actually cut two 14 inch long, and then I'll cut two pieces 12 inches long so that we sandwich it in this way. So uh, this shows you how we're going to have it sandwiched in. Now I'm gonna cut some pieces that are gonna fill inside of here. So obviously we have 12 inches by 12 inches. So I just use scrap pieces where I can get 12 inch pieces out of, so I can get two, I can get two pieces uh, probably out of this little piece of scrap piece right here. So when I come back, I'll have those cut to length. Sorry about the, the uh, fan or the air conditioner, but it's hot. I'll be right back. Again, I'm gonna apologize for the air conditioner, but it, it's hot. It's already pushed 100 and it's not even noon. Anyway, what I've done, I've cut two pieces here. This is a two inch wide piece. This is a uh, 10 inch wide piece, they're both 12 inches long. And that com completely sandwiches the granite inside the foam. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tape all this together so that it stays put together. And then when I come back, I'll show you how I'm gonna cut the box to make it all fit inside the box. It'll be a custom build box. I'll be right back. All right, next step in the process, as you can see, I've already got the 
foam wrapped and not rattling so we're in good shape. So what I've done is I've just taken a cardboard box and I've broken it down flat and the easiest thing to do is to use a corner that's already there and kind of keep the the gray or the, the package that you're packaging up kind of in the center of the box so you have more of the flaps to fold over. So first thing I'll do then is I'll take a pencil and I just scribe me a line right there and I'm going to take a, a straight edge and I'm going to continue that line. I know you can't see this off camera. I'm out of, out of screen but um, all I'm going to be doing is just continuing that line all the way across so that I have a reference mark for scoring the box. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to just lightly score and I'm going to show you, I just bring this up here where you don't see it. I just have the just the very tip of that blade sticking out. I don't want to cut all the way through, I just want to score down that line. And what did I do with my glasses? Here they are. So I can see what I'm doing. I act like I can see. I'm an old umpire. I'm blind in one eye. I can't see out the other. So all we're going to do is we're just going to just score this so we have a fold line. Now, I don't want to cut all the way through. I just want to give it a line to score on and fold. Okay? So that makes it easier to fold that box over. Okay? So, <clears throat> the next step, we want to find where the edges are, and so we're going, again, we're going to score some lines here, okay, so now, what I want to do is I want to cut, go back to that line that I scored, and I'm going to cut it all the way to that score mark that I, that I just made right there and then I'll back off and I'll just score it because that's going to be a little fold in flap like that same thing on this side I'll cut it all the way through back down and just score it okay and then that folds in that folds in so when I fold that up that folds there that folds there. So now you can see how the box is going together. So we're going to do the same thing with these flaps on either side, but we're going to also have to cut those down. So uh, we will get those. Basically, what you can do, you can take a straight edge, and I hope that's in the camera. Let me see if y'all can see this. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So basically, we're going to take a straight edge. And we're just going to score it right across where its score line was there. And you'll see again all I'm doing right there. We're going to whoop, break it right, right across there. So again, these are going to be score lines, so we're not going to cut all the way through. Just a little bit of the tip sticking out. And we're just going to follow them just scoring so that it folds easy and gives us a nice smooth fold okay okay now remember I told you we were going to have to cut these to make them fit so what we do is we'll take a measurement and I'll take another just a little piece of scrap metal or something to give me an idea of my height and I am looking at, get over here where I can measure this one. I'm looking at two and five eighths. <clears throat> so I want a little bit of extra room just for the fold over. So I'm going to go two and three quarter. And that gives me a little more room. Oops, mark it on the wrong one. I need to mark it on this one. I'm going to go from right there, I'm going to go two and three quarter. And again, these are going to be cut off, so we're going to cut these off two and three quarter. Okay. Do the same thing over here. And 
right there. So again, these are going to be cut. So I need to score my lines. I'll draw my lines rather not score them. And again, these are cutoffs, so you want to keep your fingers out of the way. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just keeping my fingers out of the way when I make that cut. This is going to be a little bit tighter, so I'll keep my finger back a little ways. I think I'll score it all the way first, and then I'll come back and cut it. Okay, that's better. A little safer that way. All right. So, that folds in, that folds in, that folds down. And you can see the box is starting to take shape. And it's going to be a nice tight fit. So, I'm going to continue doing that off camera. And when I come back, I'll show you the completed box. I'm just going to follow the same steps all the way around. I'll be right back. All right. It's totally boxed up, taped up. There's no rattle. I know this is going to get there safe and sound. So just remember you have to score lines when you want to fold them over, not cut them. So be cognizant of that. And you're, as you're building the box, just think about where am I going to fold it? That's a score line versus where I'm going to cut it, which is cutting all the way through. Simple process. It does take a little bit of time to do it, but you get your products where they're going without any damage. And in this case, this is a 12 by 12 by, oh, between 3 8 and a half inch thick uh, piece of granite. So it's kind of fragile, so I want to make sure it gets there. So I sandwich it between the foam. You may or may not have to do that. But when you've got odd shaped packages, it's real easy to build your own boxes. So don't be afraid to do that. So um, this was a quick one. So until my next one, y'all know what to do. Hug all your family and friends. Let them know you love them. And God bless.